Breaking news, the lag is catching up to USMLE candidates. With time slipping away, it's crucial to stay on track. Are you prepared with an effective step one study plan? In this video, we'll break down how to optimize your preparation and avoid falling behind. Stay tuned. All right, here's the scoop on USMLE step one. It's a beast. You've got seven blocks, each 60 minutes and 40 MCQs per block. That's a grand total of eight hours. Yep, you'll be sitting there longer than most Netflix marathons, but with breaks. So how do you study for this epic showdown? Stick around for some tips to keep you sharp, energized, and maybe even a little bit sane. Ready to make a game plan? Here are six things to keep in mind. One, picking a test date to stay committed. Two, deciding a timeline that works for you. Three, then choosing the resources. Pick wisely, you don't need everything. Four, make a schedule. Yes, actually write it down. Five, balancing priorities to avoid the dreaded lag and assess yourself. Don't just study, see if it's working. With all these steps, you'll have a plan that's as strong as your caffeine supply. Let's dive into picking the perfect test date. Here are five things to consider. Number one, test center availability. Ensure the test center is convenient and has available dates that fit your schedule. Some test centers may be booked months in advance, so don't delay your decision. Find a good date that works for you with your prep timeline. Make sure there's a spot when you're ready. Two, balance your study plan. Schedule your test to give yourself adequate time for preparation, but avoid the trap of pushing it too far. Overextending your study period can lead to burnout and delaying too much can cause unnecessary stress. Aim for a balanced and realistic time. Three, know your readiness. Be honest with yourself about where you stand. Don't rush into a test date. Make sure you've mastered the material and are scoring well on practice exams. Or avoid burnout. Don't cram your study plan with endless review. Taking too much time to prepare can lead to fatigue and decreased motivation. Schedule your test date so that you have time for focus study but can also rest and recharge. 5. Personal schedule. Adjust for any personal commitments. Life doesn't stop for step 1. Pick wisely and you'll be ready to rock it. Now let's talk about your timeline. As discussed earlier, keeping in view that you are taking multiple sequential exams is vital. Deciding whether you're doing 3 months, 6 months or 10 months is crucial and everyone has their own pace. To get it right, seek advice from alumni or peers. Evaluate your grasp of core subjects like biochemistry, anatomy and pathology. Take an initial self-assessment, for example an NBME practice test, to gauge your readiness. Consider your personal circumstances and choose the right resources to spread across your timeline. It's all about finding what works best for you. The optimal timeline for preparing for the USMLE Step 1 typically depends on your personal study habits, prior knowledge, and the amount of time you can commit. When choosing resources for your USMLE Step 1 preparation, keep these four important factors in mind. Consider your timeline. Choose resources that fit your study pace. Prioritize high-yield content. Focus on the essentials that are most likely to show up on the exam. Skip the fluff. Learning style. Whether you're a visual learner or prefer reading, pick what suits you best. Accessibility. Check your budget and see how easily you can access your materials. Pick wisely and make those resources work for you. Now let's talk about the must-have resources to crush step one. You'll want to have these in your arsenal, more commonly known as UFAP in which UWorld is your go-to question bank for practice, first aid, the ultimate review guide, and Pathoma for mastering pathology. Additionally, you can use videos like BNB, Sketchy, Pathoma, and Kaplan to reinforce concepts in your preferred learning style, especially if you are a visual learner or like to follow a lecture. Question banks like Amboss would allow you to practice more questions. I would recommend using it for the ethics questions and any topic that you feel you are struggling with. Assessments like UWorld Self-Assessment 1 and 2 and NBME are used to track your progress. These resources will be your secret weapons. Use them wisely. Moving on to the schedule. Just like a bookworm turning into a butterfly, the right schedule will help you transform into a step one master. Let's spread those wings and soar. When you first start making your schedule, it can feel like a total blank, which is the biggest challenge. You're thinking, when do I start? How do I even begin? The answer is simple, today right here. Just like Tom Riddle's diary, allow me to show you how to unlock the perfect study schedule step by step. Remember, there is no perfect study schedule in the land of schedules. All right, here's the recipe for your study schedule. Ingredients include paper, pencil, and eraser, present-mindedness, and what's left of your soul after med school. Make a rough calendar with days and dates. 
First, cross all the dates or holidays on which you won't be able to study or will take a break. This eases the soul. Now take a deep sigh and fit in the resources after you've estimated the number of questions in your world, the pages of first aid and pathoma. Divide based on systems and subjects. Erase as per need or just make a Google Sheet. Cooking time? 60 to 90 minutes. Bon appetit. Let's break down the resources and how to tackle them across 3, 6 and 10 month plans. Whether you're flying through in 3 months, pacing yourself in 6 or going for a marathon in 10, I've got you covered. Now let's talk about the chosen ones. Your ultimate guide for step 1 prep. UWorld is around 3700 MCQs to master, first aid a whopping 848 pages of high yield goodness, pathoma to 18 pages and 19 chapters of pathology brilliance. And don't forget the power of videos like BNB and Sketchy to make everything stick. These resources are your step 1 dream team. Let's break down the 3 plans, 3 months, 6 months and 10 months, each with 3 key phases. Initiation phase. Lay the foundation, start with the basics, build your routine and get familiar with your resources. This should be 1 month for 3 month plan, 2 months for 6 months and 3 months for 10 month plan. Next phase is consolidation. Dig deeper, review the systems, strengthen weak areas and ramp up question practice. This should be the next stage which is about 1 month for 3 months, 2 months for 6 months and 3 months for 10 months. Refinement. Final push. Focus on high yield topics. Take full length practice exams and fine tune your test strategies. This takes about a month for three months, two months for six months, and three to four months for a 10 month plan. No matter your timeline, you'll move through these stages like a pro. For three months, ideally, your world should be wrapped up in 75 days out of 90 and at least two passes or reviews of first aid. For six months, your world should be wrapped up in 100 days with 37 MCQs per day, along with three reviews of first aid. For 10 months, your world can be completed in phases, taking a total of 110 days. That's if you have a slow pace and want to have a very thorough review. First aid can be gone over four to five times. The number of productive hours should be anywhere between six to ten hours depending upon the timeline. All right, let's take a peek into the day in the life of a USMLE nerd. Now this is when you are in your dedicated period or don't have any other commitments. Begin your day with doing a block of UWorld questions. I did it system-wise untimed at the beginning to orient myself and recall the basics. As I gradually shortened the time I took to complete a block, towards the end I started doing timed random mixed topic blocks to acquaint myself with the exam mode. Try to learn at least three new things from each question. Moving on to the afternoon, after you've taken a break, annotate your first aid alongside your world review if you haven't completed it already and revise first aid. In the evening, wind up learning from first aid and your world and switch to pathoma, going over the relevant topic or system. I did it system-wise. Later during the night, after taking a break, you can catch up on leftover material to review or any videos and podcasts you want to go over. I personally made flashcards from your world as well and revised key algorithms and tables from them. You should be free by 10 p.m. Don't drag yourself into endless hours of studying as this will wear you out very early on. Now speaking about wearing out, balancing priorities and preventing the dreaded lag is key. A lot of people say, I can't finish 40 questions a day or I'm not studying actively enough. But here's the secret. Set realistic goals. Allow yourself breaks to recharge and avoid burnout. Learning actively. Don't just read, engage with the material by summarizing, teaching or using active recall. Here you can also seek a study partner or even use flashcards. Be flexible with your schedule. It's okay if things don't go perfectly every day. Also, don't let everyone's opinion on your schedule throw you off track. Environment matters too. Find a study spot that keeps you focused and motivated. And most importantly, have support. Whether it's family, friends or fellow medical students, don't try to do it alone. Or is your jaw getting in the way? Prioritize your study time and adjust as needed. Balance is the key to avoiding the lag. Now let's talk about key assessments or metrics you'll need to track your progress. Start with UWorld Self-Assessment 1 early on to gauge your baseline. Once you have completed the first round of UWorld, going through incorrects in a second round helps gauge if you have made progress with topics you were struggling with initially. Now UWorld Percentage is also a good way to track progress. Take you will self-assessment 2 closer to your exam to see how far you have come. Don't forget the NBMEs. 
Aim for about 3 to 4 spaced throughout your preparation. I personally found the free 120 on the official USMLE website one week out to be a great way to get familiar with the format and get a feel for the type of questions you'll face on the exam. Also remember that your dedicated study period should be around 4 to 6 weeks leading up to the exam. Space out your assessments and use them to fine tune your prep. Now that you've finally done it, take a deep breath, stay positive, stay consistent and most importantly, don't give up. You've got this. I look forward to your feedback and any specific topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. Don't forget to like, share and comment to show your support. Thanks for watching.